Hello, my name is Kate Watson-Smythe. I'm a journalist and design writer. I've written five books about interior design and I founded the blog madaboutthehouse.com, now over on Substack under the same name. So we moved in just over a year ago into what we thought would be mostly a decoration job, uh, but then it turned out that we needed to start basically from scratch and we had to replace the boiler, the bathroom, the kitchen, the windows, the doors, the heating. So it turned into really quite a big renovation job. I don't think there's any anything original still standing in this house now. So when it came to deciding on how we were going to decorate this house, we felt instinctively this was very different from our last house. We had downsized from a larger London townhouse, which was one of those tall, thin London houses. And that felt quite, it had very high ceilings. It felt like it wanted a more architectural design. So it was much more pared back. This is more of a Victorian workers' cottage. So instantly we felt we wanted to use a warmer palette, a softer palette. So we've got gone for these colors of soft pinks and terracottas and dark wooden floors, which all feel much cozier. So in terms of inspiration, we felt that because this was a sort of old, possibly workers' cottage, that we wanted to kind of keep the spirit of that um, without wanting to turn it into a sort of Disney version. But for that reason, we went for very dark wooden floors um, that looked perhaps as if they'd been there for a long time. We had terracotta tiles on the kitchen floor. Again, the idea that perhaps it was sort of how it might have looked if it had been a bit kind of jazzed up a bit for the 21st century. Um, and we wanted warm, soft colours, lots of natural materials, nothing too sort of modern or bright or harsh. Renovating is always horrendous, but I think it's like childbirth and you forget, which is why you agree to do it again. Because we thought this was going to be a smaller renovation job, we were living in it. In hindsight, although that's talks to questions of budget but in hindsight had we been able to afford to we might have moved out because there was a point shortly after we'd moved in where the radiators had been taken up so the floors could come up to move the pipes to put the heating in which couldn't be done until the boiler had been done and then they took the windows out and it was minus six so you know there's very definitely a uh, an order in which things need to be done in and you need to be ready for that. And if you are doing really big work like that, maybe don't do it the week before Christmas. So I actually discovered Causton through a friend of mine who emailed me and said, you know, you're gonna love this company because he knew I wrote about interiors. Um, so that was actually quite a long time ago. I think Causton was really young. Um, and unfortunately, at that point, I wasn't doing any renovating, so I couldn't use it, but it had always been in the back of my mind, if and when we were to move, that that would be something I'd want to use. And so when we moved in here, and the house then needed so much work doing to it, it was the perfect opportunity because we needed door handles and light switches and sockets, everything needed moving and replacing, so it was perfect. So. I opted to go with the bronze finish from Causton because partly it's a little bit different, you don't see it too much and I think it's a really warm dark brown colour but also we discovered that the two original fireplaces in the sitting room have a sort of bronzy colour to them and then we were replacing the radiators and I managed to find bronze radiators so it all sort of led in that direction and actually Bronze is brilliant because it goes with all the other metals. If you've got a chrome tap, it's not gonna have a fight with it. So we have chrome taps in the bathroom and bronze light switches and sockets outside, obviously. Um, and in the kitchen, we have a black tap and a copper worktop and the bronze goes really well with that as well. So it's a really, it's slightly more unusual as a finish, but it's really versatile and it's a really warm color. For me, the detail really is important. There's a lot of people, um, designers and decorators, who say, oh, you know, just have a plastic light switch because you won't notice it. And I 
really disagree with that because I think you do notice it. And also, I think the detail is in those touch points, the thing you interact with, it's so satisfying when you're clunking a metal switch on and off. I really like that. And also, you know, to have bronze switches that match your light switches and where possible your door handles, which again are really nice and solid to interact with. It's really important because those are the things you remember. Those and things that are at eye height. So pictures on the wall, you will notice those, but the things you touch every single day are really important. When it comes to those sort of architectural details like handles and switches, they're really annoying to replace and you don't want to be doing that or moving them around. That is absolutely one of the details that you want to do once and not have to do again. So it's really important that you can find classic, well-made, solid designs that aren't going to go in and out of fashion and make you feel like you need to change them in a year's time. So by all means, change the color of your walls, your wallpaper, even some of your furniture, but the architectural stuff you wanna get right at the beginning and keep it forever. While I don't think you necessarily have to have the same finishes in every room. I do think it's really good if you can have a cohesive sense throughout the house that things at least tone. So actually we do have the bronze light switches in every room and, and the sockets in every room and that stays the same. We have varied it a bit with taps because we have chrome taps and a black tap but broadly speaking I think you want to keep your mix of metallics to a minimum and try and keep it flowing throughout the house where possible. So what's next? Now this house is finished, if a house is ever truly finished, is that we have bought a place in Italy which was a long-held dream and that was actually the reason we moved here. We downsized from our big London house, now our children are older, to come here to be able to buy a property in Italy and that's also a doer upper. So we have a whole new set of challenges, which again is involving light switches and sockets and door handles. And this time we've gone for the antique brass finish. So wait and hang on for that if it's ever finished. <laughs>